Wow. Is that really why you think he's refusing to see you? That I've been filling his head with lies, turning him against you? Michael, I didn't have to lie. The truth would have been enough. But I didn't even have to tell him that. I didn't have to say a word. Do you know what he did when I told him I'd kicked you out? He came and sat next to me and hugged me. And said, well done, Mum. You weren't being as clever as you thought you were. Kids aren't stupid. They see things and they hear things. So if he doesn't want to speak to you, it's because he sees you for who you are. And I'm proud of him for that. There couldn't be any less of you in him. He's all me. So I guess you do have a point. Because if he hadn't figured it out for himself, if the truth hadn't been enough, I would have spun every lie under the sun to keep him safe from you.